Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Procedure in progress. Lots going on. Many were a little scared. But don't worry, everything you're going through is normal. You are getting rid of a lot of things that are stuck in your bodies. When I say that the veils will fall, it is not just the veils of vision that will fall, it is everything or anything that prevents you from feeling, hearing, seeing, what is around you. So practically, anything that is in your body that is not divine will be removed. But everything has to be done lovingly and slowly, so that you don't feel it. Rest assured, every day your ethereal body cleans itself a little more of these things. I'm not going to say here that it's this or that, nor who put it there. I will not encourage fear any further. I just tell you, you are being cleansed. Then some opposite reactions will happen, because everything that was within you, which subdues you, enslaves you, takes away your strength. So when these things are taken away, their owners don't accept it, and they do everything they can to stop you from continuing. Because if you get scared and give up, they put everything back together. And then nothing helped. Understand this, many situations will happen to take you off this path. That's exactly what happened in the first procedure, and some people ran away. Ah, I started doing the procedure and my life turned upside down, and left. It's more or less the same thing. You may have resistance around you, as if everything is making you give up on what you are doing. It is not our test, I can assure you of that, it is just the form, as those who are the owners, of the veils that you have, that they do not want you to take off, those same veils. So they will provoke, they will frighten, they will even create situations for you, which will horrify you. I just ask that you have faith and believe that I am with you at all times. So what do you have to do, you started to feel bad or you notice that something around you is strange, call me immediately, it'll be there solving the problem. Ah, my Archangel, but if you know this is going to happen, why haven't you already solved the problem? Why do you let this happen? Realize, you have something called free will. So if you find yourself in a difficult situation and don't ask for help, I can't give you my help. That's how it works. Now if you feel afraid, you are in a situation that you realize is not comfortable for you, call me, my Archangel, help me. And immediately I will be at your side. Just that, my brothers, and I tell you even more, you will call me several times a day. But please don't give up. Do not be afraid. Do not think that what you are doing is evil, on the contrary, you are taking evil from your surroundings, of their ethereal bodies. After these first days, you will see how all this will go, and you will begin to see the results of everything that is being done. That's why I told you yesterday, without expectations, without thinking that everything will happen in the first few days. These first days will be difficult, yes because you have a lot to clean up, but I assure you you will be, and whoever does the work with the beings of light, the Pleiadians and the Arcturians, will have this work done much more quickly, because they have the tools to cleanse you quickly. So trust. Believe me. Let yourself be cleansed and you will see the result. Now I wanted to talk about another subject. A subject I haven't touched on yet but the time has come to talk about it. What is reincarnation? Reincarnation is a soul taking a new physical form, regain human clothing. I speak human, because I am referring to you. Many beliefs, many things, have already been said about reincarnations. That they serve to cure karmas, that they serve to evolve. If I were to talk about everything that has happened, throughout all your incarnations, I will be talking for a year, and no one will be able to bear listening to me, because I can stand talking, but you can't stand listening. So I'm going to talk very briefly. 
when every soul chooses to reincarnate. This is the first point, you choose to reincarnate. Many choose to follow the spiritual path and evolve in spirit. As you were taught and guided, that with each incarnation you come, you evolve a little more, many choose to reincarnate. As I already mentioned in a few videos ago, nothing and no one guarantees that you will reincarnate and evolve. Why? Because you come with the purpose of. Ah, I need to feel in the flesh what I put the other person through, and has the same problem you caused. But how did you react? Did you react in a way to learn the lesson, or did you become as angry as the one who suffered your act in the previous incarnation? What do you have around you? What world do you live in? What medium did you embody? All of this has to be taken into account. Many ask, why does hunger exist? Why does misery exist? Why do many allow themselves to be seduced by evil? Exactly for this reason, my brothers, those who were proud, and who made those who depended on their decisions suffer, starve, choose to suffer the same thing in this incarnation to resolve the error they caused in another. And then he comes in poor, miserable, and goes hungry, because that's what he chose. Then you will understand, when I say, that your families are not the same souls that keep reincarnating, because if in one incarnation you were rich, you had a rich family, how come in the next you return to a poor family, what about the rest of your family? Did everyone also choose to be poor? Of course not. Another family was chosen for him to go through this ordeal. And so, my brothers, your souls choose where they want to incarnate, who they want to incarnate with, for the sacrifices and suffering they want to go through. And all that. You choose before incarnating. Like those who incarnate in a small being in a woman's belly, and die long before being born. For what? To teach that woman a lesson. It wasn't him who went through the lesson, it was the woman, because he thought she needed to go through that lesson. And that woman also agreed that she should go through that suffering. My brothers, things are a little more complicated than the simplicity they tell you. Ah, you choose an incarnate. Not quite like that, my brothers. Things are a little more controlled, a little bit more. You have been induced to reincarnate for a long time, so that you could continue this game of slavery, of terror, of fear, that you are living today. That was the goal, until you destroyed yourselves, which was what would happen if there was no intervention from us. Because that was the idea destroy this planet. Like, as many of them have said, that's it. We have nothing left to take from here. And they would destroy the planet. But through a series of planetary and astral conjunctions, the will of our Father or Mother God, everything changed. Everything has changed. And there you are, preparing, organizing yourself, to go to a much better world. So when some say, why do I suffer so much? Why do I go through all this? Firstly, because it was your choice, and secondly, because you let yourself be led down that path. There are people who, when they choose suffering, think they have to suffer until the last day of their life. Because this was also taught to them. Suffering evolves the soul. This is a big lie. No suffering makes anyone evolve because the so-called resignation is superficial. She does not exist, because no one likes to suffer, no one likes to suffer. This is a big lie that people say, ah, I suffer with resignation. Oh, what resignation is this? This is a lack of self-love, of thinking that you have to suffer to evolve. They don't love each other and they experience more and more suffering, because you reap what you emanate. This is a law. Regardless, whether you were enslaved or not, this is a law. You reap what you sow so if you sow, happiness, joy, love, you will reap it. Now, if you plant, complain, judge, recriminate, suffer, attack, every day, that's what you'll get back. More of the same. 
How is it that so many are born into poverty, study, and manage to get ahead? They manage to be someone in life, as you say. As? If he lives in an environment like so many others. Why did he manage to get out of that wheel? Because he didn't believe in what he lived. He believed that there was something more and that he could fight for it, and he fought, and he achieved it. He did not do like the vast majority, who when they see, I came into this life and here I will die, and dies right there. He never fought, never believed he could improve. He accepted that he was a nobody, and he will die a nobody, because that's how he sees himself, a nobody. He never sought to evolve. My brothers, you have to always evolve, learn new things, seek knowledge, seek to evolve. Ah, this is all a dream. No, it's not a dream. How do they do it? It wasn't a dream for them, it was real. Yes, they dreamed and fought for that dream and the dream came true. Now keep saying, ah, I'm not going to dream, because it doesn't happen. Right. You've already given the verdict. Don't dream and nothing will happen. Stay in your life, but stop complaining, because this is the life you chose. You were made to evolve my brothers, but the vast majority don't see that. The vast majority accommodate themselves, finds it difficult to try to change something. He's the type who thinks, I'm too small. If I do anything it won't do any good. Yes. It is, because it is from small actions that big ones arise. Nothing comes up big. Everything arises from one point, from one person, from the idea of one person, who calls another, who calls another, and soon many people are together practicing the same idea. So there is no such thing as, I am small. You are not small. What you can't do is want to do everything alone. You have to grow up. It's like a cake, you add yeast to make it rise. So you have to find other people, with the same goals, to make it grow. So that's it my brothers. Don't belittle yourselves. Don't belittle yourself. Ah, I'm not capable of anything. You are capable of a lot. You just have to want it. You just need to want to change. There is no such thing as, I can't do it, I can't, I cannot stand. These words do not exist. Yes. You can always change your reality. Of course, for better or for worse, it depends on your actions and your thoughts, or, keep it the same. You follow a straight line throughout your life. He was born at one point, will die in the next, but on the same level. Yes it was your choice. You will continue to be that nobody you think you are. Now, if you think you are capable of improving a little, go up this straight line, start climbing, ah, but the walk is difficult. You find everything difficult. Why? Because you are afraid. Are you afraid of failure? Are you afraid of not succeeding? How many people, to achieve things, tried once? tried twice, tried three, tried n times, and succeeded. So you have a bad habit of trying once. Ah, I tried, it didn't work, I won't do it again. And ready, it stops there, as if everything had to come, easy. I thought, oh, I'm going to do something. I thought, I'm going to make it. Go there, do it, and achieve it. My brothers, this sometimes even happens, because many have such great strength that they succeed the first time, but for the most part, you have to grow this in your hearts. Put love in what you do, put love into what you want, not just the money. Because many only think about money. Oh, I will. I'm going to do this because I'm going to make a lot of money. It's not even what she likes, she hates doing that but you're thinking about doing it because you'll make money. Do you know what will happen? You won't be able to do it, and you won't even make money. That's it, because there was no love, 
he had no love for that act, there was no love for that evolution. Then nothing happens. It's my brothers, you think you're poor things. We are very poor things. We were enslaved. We were manipulated. We are poor things. Yes, that happened. As a verb it says, it happened. There's nothing more to do about it. To cry? Sit and cry? It won't do any good. So rise up, rebel, but in a good way. Ah, yeah, so now, I'm going to get up and I'm going to show that I have strength. I will show that I am capable. I'm going to show that I can do it. This, show your strength, show the powerful human being you are. Don't let yourself be shaken by what they say to you, ah, you're weak. You won't make it. I go. Fight for it. Fight once, fight twice, fight three, fight a thousand, but fight. Don't give in, because this way you will be evolving, because you are showing the universe that you want to grow, and that you have love for it, and that you want to get there, that you deserve. Yes. You deserve it, and you will get there. Without gloating over anyone, without stepping on anyone, only by your effort, for its capacity, by your will. So that's it my brothers, stop complaining, stop thinking that your life sucks. It sucks and will continue to suck if you didn't do anything. Get up. Sweep all of this out of your minds and your hearts. Start a new life. Look for something new. Seek to change. Ask for help. The angels are there by your side, just one word, my angels, help me to have strength, and in the instant they will give you that strength, for you to fight. You have it on the side and don't use it. So, learn how to use it. Call on the angels, archangels, saints, whoever you want, by those you believe call. Ask for help, and you will see how everything will improve in your life. I am Archangel Michael. And I have always repeated this, I am always here, to give a lot of strength to anyone who asks me.